Compare and contrast. What are we comparing? We have two functions. Look at the intervals of increase and decrease. David Blackwell is a mathematician. This is somebody's file. We're going to anonymously look at. Let's do uh, spring break. Spring break occurs right here. Right here is the equinox day. First day of spring. So in this region is when spring starts. So that corresponds to, this is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So 2, this is 3. March, so for this part here, that's spring. So I want to do that. Let's say that that's spring right there. And uh, do it like this and do this. So that's spring for that interval. Now, autumn, autumn would, let's do that in orange, would occur over here. And I would say, let's take a look. So a little bit to the left of this, a little bit to the right of it. Between spring and autumn is uh, summer. So let's do that in red. So from this point, the hours get longer in the day. And then they become shorter on autumn approaches during that part of the year. And that's between spring and autumn, summer. Now let's do winter. Do that in blue. So Toward the end of the year. So 8, 10, 12, up to here. So that's up to here. That's winter, up to there. Up to there. And continuing to the next year. So there. So there you go. Let's We can screenshot that. And uh, look at that. And we can say the maximums, uh, both, both locations have the maximum and minimum daylight hours in the same months. The intervals of increasing deadlight increasing and decreasing daylight are the same. The difference is in their range. Fairbanks ranges from 4 to 22 hours at daylight, while Miami ranges from 10.6 to, what is this, 8, 10, 12, 8, 10, 12, 14, a little under 14, 13.7, depends where you put, set the function, 13.6 hours of daylight. Okay, so that is one response we could put. So you see that the purple ranges a lot from 
very low hours of daylight to very uh, almost the whole day. So let's uh, print screen that. And now let's move on to slide six, where you see that nine plus 13 is a 22. That's the peak. Then 13 minus the nine is the four. Now what you want to do here is you want to add this area. So what I'm going to tell you is this 13 tells you this, that 8, 12, 14, 6, uh, that's 8, 10, 12, 14. So here, from this point to this point here, that's 0, 2, 4, 2, 4, 6, Eight, ten, and twelve. Ten, twelve. So let us draw that midline for the function. That most days in Fairbanks are not twelve actually, but thirteen hours, according to my model. So that's represents the thirteen here. While the orange is going to be Miami, that's going to be at 12 here for a year. There. And what I want to say is that I would like to go down and see how low that goes. It should go all the way down here. Basically, I'm going to use this principle that I should be able to get this add these up. Notice that this area here is I can cut this off. I can color it. This area in purple here. All this area. All this area here. I can put in here. Fits in there. So I'm going to erase this because this is turns out to be extra. And I can simply say that by adding all these months, I know that this is 12 wide because it's 12 months, 12 months in a year. But I know that it's basically 12 times 13. That would be what I would put here. This equals 30 days per month times 12 months and uh, 13 hours per day, per month, per day. So let's do that again. That's 13 hours per day times 30 days. So that's 13 times 30 hours of daylight per month times 12 months for Fairbanks. Similarly, you can calculate that it's going to be 12.02 according to this model times 30 days times 12. Okay, so th that would be my hours. And the lower number. I know it is. Okay, so that's one way to get the area. Let's think about the orange area. So the orange area, you see this right here? That's above the average. Well, this one's, these are below the average by the same amount that that's above. So what you can think is, I don't need to think about this. I can erase this. And then the orange would just be this distance, which is 12, times this height, which is also 12. That's 144 times 30 is 46. So let's, let's look at the calculation here. Notice that I have to get rid of the equals. So this one is 156 like that. Get rid of the 30, and that's like 144. So introduce the 30 again, because it's 30 days. And they'll give you the total for, for the year. OK, so that's the total for the year. Now, let's move on. OK, let's talk about this. Describe the method used to find these answers. And use a sketch to help illustrate your ideas. OK. 
So again, I said that. Well, I just went through all that already. So, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So, for this one, is it 12? Let's do a straight. 8, 10, 12. So, basically, it's just a rectangle to there. And you get these months. And I want to get this this distance plus this distance plus this distance six, eight, ten, and twelve, and the ones in between. So there is another way to do this. Okay, I add up all these, and I should also be able to do that. But this other way, where I balance the areas, that's more efficient. So how do I explain that? The so the uh, idea is to realize. You need to find the total daylight hours from time zero to time twelve December. Okay. So, uh, each bar is the daylight hours per day during that month. The average for Miami is 12 hours, plus or minus uh, an amount which uh, which cancels out. So here we go. So let's see should be zero to twenty four meaning dayless day light days without light and some days without night okay but following the pattern the pattern of increase max decrease min etc like the other functions other places on earth other 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 places on earth so Okay, let's see. Uh, what else did I forget? That looks good. Let's see. Let's see the answer now. The actual data. The only other thing I can think of that I forgot, going back, come to think of it, that every time you shift up north, your average daylight went from 8, 10, 12 to 13. This one should be 
around here. That's the only thing I forgot to think about. Let's see. What do you think? One, two, three, two underneath and two above. Yeah, thereabouts. Okay. So here's a graph of the daylight hours function of the time of the day of the year for Barrow Tech, Alaska. What do you think the horizontal pieces of the graph say about Barrow, Alaska? Why are these our 24 hours of daylight? Can you have more than 24 hours? Can you have lower than zero hours? Uh, we'll just leave that here, let you finish that. 